And of course, WrestleMania was right here in Philadelphia, the biggest WrestleMania of all time. But what a main event matchup we have here tonight. Sold out Philly, 2300 arena with Rob Van Dam who told Bronny Jordan, if you want to stand out, go take out, go pin the women's North American champion. That being Fallon Henley, and they will have an opportunity to do so next week when that championship is on the line with Booker. How about Lola Vice, Jada Parker, hardcore matchup, first one ever in NXT to kick off the night here on NXT. Like I said earlier, the history was made right here at the 2300 arena. What a night has it been. Bro. And now you have the best women's division in wrestling in the main event tonight. The spotlight shining on all ten of these women. And then you start to think about December. December 7th with the women's Iron Survivor matchup. There's that picture when he went to break there. All these ladies face to face. That one right there just tell me all of the past. Here we Carter. go. And look, you talk about... A lot of pressure, something we always talk about as we see again the impact immediately from Stephanie Vaccaro. How has she handled the pressure of high expectations since arriving here well, in NXT? Vaccaro, she stepped right in here to NXT and she fits perfectly, but I look at this five-woman team, a lot of individuals, no real relationship with I think that's going to be their downfall here tonight. Yeah, the Knicks made the tag, she is legal, and you always wonder, does she know who is really fighting her? Some would say spotlight stealers as she gets into the cover hook of the leg. That, of course, being Fallon Henley Come on, and J.C. Jane. Your yes, it's next to NYX. She's sitting Whoa. right there under the learning tree, learning everything she needs to know about this business. About to learn a little bit more. Oh, man. Too, oh, oh, oh. Into the cover. Will it be enough? Ooh. Near fall. It's time to look at tonight's NXT recap presented by Progressive. Got to have the right insurance, Vic, and the right insurance is having Roxanne Perez captain that team. What a captain. Been doing this since was 60 years old, man. I know you're trying to, you know, get a plug in because you're part of the WWE ID program, the reality of wrestling, but let's focus on the 10 women in the ring because we are seeing some tag team tandem offense from Vicar and Julia as another near fall. And Julia, another superstar who has had high pressure situations, has been able to come over to NXT. How is she at the you know what? I must say, Julia is top notch talent because she stepped in there with a the body. Kick. She knows what it feels like. She came up a little short, but she will get another chance. There's the prodigy again. Had her 16 match winning streak snapped at Halloween Havoc by Stephanie Vaccaro. And now Julia looking for a submission. Julia not a fan of Lash Jakar earlier tonight. Uh, however, Metaphor did have a great showing at Crown Jewel. Can't take that away from them, but still trending number one as we have since the beginning. NXT cover, count, kick out. Julia bringing a little different style tonight, working that Japanese armbar right there, putting Roxanne in a whole lot of pain in this matchup, bitch. Some of that innovative offense from Julia's counter, though, by Roxanne Perez, the prodigy, as you put it, here in NXT. As you call her on your radio show, a future Hall of Famer. Now she's special, Vic. Didn't get all that uppercut, certainly got enough of it, though, to rock Julia. Now speaking and getting rocked. Big knees from Cora Jade. Perez charging in with Ain't nobody Roxanne. better. Ain't nobody. One thing about Robert. Cover, Roxanne. cover, 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 cover. Roxanne Perez, she, she's prolific, Vic. And I'm going to tell you right now, ever since she's been back together with Cora Jade, that's a special, special. Oh, oh, oh yes. You know, when it comes to Cora Jade, she says she outworks the women's division even on her days off. Is everyone who doubted her going to be asking for forgiveness now that she's back? Or you can answer minute, that minute, from minute. behind, shoulders down. No, no, Cora Jade, that time off did her a lot of good. They gave her time to reflect on this business. And one thing about this business, I say it all the time, it's about checks, it's about checks, it's about championships. Oh, I think Cora Jade just realized this could be the beginning of the end. Pure power Talking about from it. Zaria. Everybody want a piece of the action. That's why they're showing up here in NXT, Vic. Well, there's J.C. Jane who might regret her decision tagging in wanting a uh, piece of the action, as you put it. Oh, she felt that headbutt once before. Zarya in control, and man, she has changed the game here in NXT yeah, in a very up, quick she's period of time. She's dealing with the pros here in the middle of the Here's that power. Right here, J.C. Jane. Give me a little help, Fallon. 
You hear that screaming from J.C. Jade Fallon. Oh, fatal influence. Everyone in the ring, all ten women. He's about to break down. You can say that again, Brock. Yeah. All ten want to prove they're the best. All ten want the spotlight. And the very best right now, swinging away. You just can't show up here in NXT and take the spotlight, Vic. It's not going to happen that easy. The NXT Universe has been vocal. They have been spirited. They have been on their feet here in Philadelphia. The head referee Sam Perez. get some control, rep. She get did. some control, Roxanne David. Roxanne Perez back with the backbone of the women's division here in NXT. But Booker, for the here, for the now, look who's standing tall. And now look who's flying. What the hell? The stand what the hell? wiping out everyone. Who's walking out victorious tonight?